Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree. Today we're putting together a little thank you card that'll come in super handy. It'll be super quick if you want to say thank you to someone that maybe gave you a gift this holiday. And again, it's a very simple card. It goes together very quickly. Uh, one thing I do want to mention before we get started with assembly, and it's completely optional. Many of you have seen me do this in the past, but I took and um, just kind of inked the edges of our powder color. This is AC powder. So as usual, um, I have my little ink pad. This is a dye-based ink. Um, I have a lot of chalk inks, but I don't use them. And essentially, all I'm doing is just putting a little bit of the ink on my applicator here and just running it along the edges of the paper. So I did a little bit on this little insert. Well, it's actually uh, just a piece of the envelope flap. And then I also hit the edges of the actual card itself, the base of the card. Again, totally optional. Uh, if you are interested in learning what supplies we're using for this, uh, I would suggest visiting our website and downloading the official Dreaming Tree app and going under the supplies or go-to tools, I believe it's called. And we have links to all of the supplies that we use uh, for the inking. So anyway, this card's gonna go together really quick. Let's just jump right in here. We'll start with the inside. You'll notice that we have two different panels here. Uh, one for the left, one for the right. The right is a little bit uh, wider because this side is a little bit wider so that we have this little area that sticks out. Now, I would say that the right side is probably gonna be where you write your little note, uh, add your little stamp, or if you're savvy, you can do a little, um, either a print to cut or a draw and cut, for those of you that use your pens. Okay, so we're gonna get this in place, and when we apply this to the inside, we wanna make sure that we keep a nice even border all the way around the white section here. So you'll notice when I fold this, you can see that there's a little border there on the inside. And then we also have this piece here that we're gonna add right here, okay? Now, what I would suggest doing is, well, first and foremost, let's add our glue to this section only around the perimeter, all the way at the bottom here. And then you'll probably wanna add a few tiny, tiny little dots on the little caption area here so that it kind of stays put. And just like we did with the other side, you want to get that nice and centered, as centered as you can, leaving a nice even border all the way around. Now I've decided to go texture side up on both sides just to keep it consistent on the inside and then the outside, it'll be solid there, okay? Or smooth, I should say. All right, so that's that. And then on the outside here, we have this beautiful little snowflake. And we're gonna start off with our white base. And I have this, this foil, it's almost like a, it's like a silver foil, but it's kind of holographic. And depending on what angle the light hits it, it kind of casts a really cool, uh, almost like a rainbow effect. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now this foil paper, it's not very porous on the back, so I have extra time to get it in place. Now the left side here is gonna be, this middle part of the snowflake is gonna be all the way up against the left side as far as it'll go. And then the rest of it, you wanna make sure is nice and centered. So press that down. And then we have this little guy here it's kind of like a, a rounded star with the points are rounded. We're gonna pop that right in the center of this area here. Just do your best to get that nice and centered. Nice. And then we have a nice little circle here to finish it off in the middle. And I'm going to add some nice little rhinestones in various points here just to really jazz this up. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And you can see it's almost like a, it's almost like a dance party over here. Okay, and then we're gonna take and apply glue to the back of this. 
and glue that down to our card. Now you could, you could pop dot this if you want. Um, just because it's got this straight edge here, I'm gonna just glue it down. I think that's gonna give it a better look. And you simply wanna get this nice and centered here in this area above the caption and below the top of the card. Just kind of use your fingers to get a feel for whether or not that is nice and flush up against the left side. That holographic paper really kind of sets this thing off. It makes it look really cool, look at that. Very simple, very quick, and there's your card. Now, of course, no card is complete, no Dreaming Tree card, I should say, is complete without a coordinating envelope. So again, we have this little piece here it's going to go just like this, okay? And what we're going to do is we're actually going to apply our glue to this panel here, or to this to the actual flap that's connected to the entire envelope. And you're going to want to put some glue on these little details here so they don't go flailing around. And then also add glue to the remainder of the surface area here, okay? And then what I like to do is I'll take this and just kind of butt it up to that little score mark, make sure it's centered, and then you can literally just take this and drop it down. And then just press that down, make sure every little area is making good contact, like so. There we go. Press and hold that down, and you can see how nice that looks. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna take and flip these in and bring this up. This is a little bit of a different envelope. And I've said this many times before, but that score wheel on my Cricut Maker isn't the greatest, and it was a little bit off, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Just have to roll with the punches here. Okay, we'll throw a little bit of glue on both of these flaps, and then take that, actually, you know what? I want these to be nice and clean, so I'm gonna throw a little extra glue right along the perimeter there and spread that glue out. Didn't really get a lot of glue on there, but that's okay. And just close that up. Make sure that is nice and aligned. Press and hold. Hopefully that's enough glue. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I think it'll be okay. Wonderful. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, the rest is up to you. If you want, you can leave it as is. Um, I've got a little plastic container here full of just some clear or silver rhinestones. And again, I'm gonna add them to various little areas here. Uh, let's see, yeah. So let me pull these out. I'll show you how I go about doing it. Now I've got the little rhinestones here. I've got some larger ones, some smaller ones. I think the larger ones will work well in the larger areas. The smaller ones, you can see, we've got these little circles here, and those are perfect for those. Now, these are these don't have any sort of adhesive backing on them, so we're gonna need to throw some glue on them. Let me find my pick-me-up tool because that is what I like to use to handle these. It makes quick work of putting rhinestones in place here. And I'm gonna grab a scrap piece of paper. And what I'll do is I'll throw a little bit of glue on a scrap piece of paper, and this glue bottle literally just clogged up. Okay, so take my pick-me-up tool, and I like to kind of grab it from the side, not from the very top and I'll just dip it in a little bit of glue and pull some of that off. I don't need a whole ton on there. And then you can go ahead and place it. And it comes with a nice little tool built into the back that's similar to this, but I find that this is a little more uh, exact. So I like to use an X-Acto to kind of press down the rhinestones. Okay. So there's my second one. Pop that right in place. This is where I kind of feel like I'm a surgeon. Some kind of a surgeon. Okay, and just, again, just gonna go all the way around into 
these little areas, these little circular areas. I've got two left. So we'll do that. I'm going to put a large one in the center. And we'll actually throw a couple on the envelope as well. So totally optional if your snowflake is already, like I said, kind of a, a disco ball on a dance floor. Maybe you don't need the extra bling, but it's a quick card. And if you're looking to stay in your craft room for a little bit longer than just a few minutes, then why not add some bling and just jazz it up. Okay, there we go. So you can see how nice and sparkly that looks. Uh, I think that's all we're gonna do there. Yep, and then envelope came out nice actually. We can close this up and you can see here, we have three more little circles here. And hopefully I have three of these small ones left. Yep, I've got three, just, just enough. And just like I did there, just throw a little bit of glue on the back of your rhinestone. That way it is nice and permanent. Pop that right into place. Grab the next one. It makes it so much easier to work with these tiny little embellishments with this pick-me-up tool. And unfortunately, I don't think anybody makes them anymore. So you can actually, um, if you take a hibachi stick and get some putty, you can just throw that on the tip of a stick and use that. It'll pretty much work the same way. And there you go. Okay. So that's pretty much it. And at the risk of messing this up, I just want to show you that it'll fit into the envelope nicely. There we go. I'll close up, ready to either hand deliver or mail. And that's it. Very simple, very quick, a nice little way to say thank you for that special gift that you received this holiday season. So if you enjoyed the video, please take a moment and head over to our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button, and while you're there, hit the little bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be free or paid. And if you make this or anything from our Lantern Lane bundle, um, I'd love to see it, and so would the 20, almost 26,000 other dreamers that inspire us daily. So head over to your Facebook page, or face, yeah, Facebook page, do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, and join us there, or you can type in this little URL here, and it'll take you uh, straight to the group. Um, but I think that's going to conclude our Christmas offerings for 2020. Uh, I can't say I'm going to miss 2020. <laughs> as many of you will probably concur. Um, here's to, uh, we've got some more bundles coming, obviously it's only November, uh, but anyway, hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Hope you're happy, safe, um, and healthy. And I look forward to crafting with you again.